he's now settling down. And he's the forgotten horse, guys, in many ways. He, after the Everest, he was the biggest horse in the country. I know. It's, it's amazing, isn't it, how quickly they can sort of go backwards. But if you could ride any one of these horses, I'm not talking weight-wise, I'm talking which one would you like to be on? Oh, it would have been a toss of the coin, Lindemann or Kovalika. Wow. I, I, I was so impressed with Lindemann last hour, and I, I, was, I, was, I was just wanting him to go the Tancred Stakes or the league winner, <laughs> but then Chris has gone back here, and he uses that formula so well all the time. So I've got a feeling. Richo, uh, enormous build-up. I mean, we know how much we enjoy this race. A final thought from you for the Doncaster Mile. I think we might get an opportunity to see a freak today. Uh, his name is another Will. He's been beautifully placed in the race, lightweight. Um, there's something about this guy that's really special. And the best ruffy, I'm with J-Mac. I think Kovalika has an opportunity here with good speed on. He will rush into the race at some stage at around 20 to 1. Emma? Now with the drying track, I'm keen to have a look at Oban Buramaya. My Ruffy, I think Democracy Manifest has the ability to continue to climb through the grades. Remembering he ran fifth in an Epsom. He was unlucky that day and he gets conditions to suit on this day. Sometimes you've got to look back. 20 years ago, just over, Grand Army went into the Doncaster having won the week before the Ajax. It wasn't the prelude. He'd had seven starts for five wins and two placings. Exactly what another wheel has had today. Exactly the carbon copy. You can back up and win. It's just the preview they haven't been able to do. Well, one more to come up. Four million bucks. It's Ranwick's race in so many ways. There is not a better mile anywhere in the world. Here's Darren Flindy. Oh, Star Doncaster, and we're ready to go. Another bill, the favourite. They're set. Field are on their way. Another bill jumped out of the gates quite nicely. Palmetto there. Another bill goes forward together with Pericles. And Fearson showing plenty of muster wide out. They're followed by Militarised Handy with Lady Laguna. Navajo Peak just behind the leading clump court wide. Further back then to Nugget. From Obam Buramai pushing through. Lindemann's wider out then detonated Jack Bakshi Shadow. Two lengths away to Lock Eagle. Celestial Legend's going to settle well back in the field. Two lengths to Kovalika from Democracy Manifest. Rustic Steel is last. Fearson from Gate 19 crossed them. He's going to lead easily. It's Fearson out by two or three lengths from Think About It and Another Will. Racing in second and third, followed by Navajo Peak three wide, followed then by Pericles on the outside of Militarise. A length further back to Lady Laguna from Obam Buramai hinged us off the course, followed then by Palmer Meadow towards the inside. Nugget in the white cap starting a wider run. Lindemann out deep. Well back Barkshire Shadow. Detonator Jack in the yellow jacket coming off the fence. Celestial Legend starting to track into it as they come around the corner. And think about it. Booze up to Fierce and another will is cruising up on the outside and now Car said go and another will going after think about it. Pericles stays on well. Over on the inside it's militarised launching his attack and further back to Obam Buramai. Up the inside Militarised, wide out Pericles. Pericles and Militarised fighting it out for the moment. Nugget bursting through and here he is, Celestial Legend bombing them wide out. Celestial Legend won the Doncaster. Nailing, I think, Pericles or Militarised. Then came Nugget. Further back to Detonator Jack. Another will think about it, Palmetto. Uh, Wobam Buramai from Hinge, Lock Eagle, Kovalika. Then came Lindemann from Rustic Steel, Navajo Peak, Fearson, Lady Laguna. Did someone say KFC? Tyler Schiller has just won the Doncaster. He has just won the Doncaster. You said he'd have a strong jockey. Les Bridge, 40 years ago, had a 101 winner of the Doncaster. He gets another today. How good was this, J-Mac? Have a look at this tropic vision of his ride here. That was sensational. Fearless as anything, slicing through. And he obviously had the horse with a lightweight, talented, talented three-year-old. What a win. Oh, what a horse. Eh? What a horse. Wow. Is this that was exciting. Is this, boy, <laughs> is, this, is this boy a bit special, uh, this Tyler Schiller? Yeah, he is. He's cool, calm, collected. He can ride that unbelievably lightweight, which is obviously a feather in his cap, but he's so level-headed. Nothing fazes him, and he, he deserves all the success he can get because he, that was a 10 out of 10 ride. That was an incredible ride. We're going to let you go. You've got to ride the favourite in the derby very shortly. Jeez, I hope I can replicate a ride like that. <laughs> I so reckon you can. We've got James, faith in you. thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much. What an insight you've been able to give us in the last 20 minutes, Lizzie.
Oh, what a special one, eh? A three-year-old Les Bridge, 40 years after 101 pop, Tyler Schiller doing all the big stuff. How good was that? How good. And you know what Les Bridge said? This is my best horse, the best horse I've ever trained. And we should have listened to him because he looks like he is the best horse he's ever trained. And he's trained some very, very smart gallopers. It was a great race. I mean, when think about another wheel straightened up at the top of the rise, you thought, boy, oh boy. And then the challenges. Firstly, it looked like Zach Purton with militarised. It did. And he just didn't finish off how we expected him to. But as we were talking through that, we could hear James saying to us, look at Celestial Legend. Look at him. He's slicing through the pack. He had his eyes on him right from the top of the straight 